Suzanne welcome back to my channel beauty at 50 so I'm going to go over today a nail tutorial uh, just the trends that are out there right now going into fall and different products that I have used uh, when I was a nail technician for eight eight or ten years um, I used different products which I swore by and different ways to take care of the nail so just a couple of my favorite things um, things that you can buy from Sally's different stores and things that have worked well for me so the first thing I would suggest is actually buying some good nail files I know everyone has different choices and preferences when it comes to nail files for me I like these washable nail files that you get at Sally's I want to say they are under a dollar um, I like more or less the medium uh, this is a medium to fine grit um, it's a 1152 one oh so it's a medium um, and even though you are only using it for yourself you need to make sure that you are washing it once you have used it if you do have some kind of fungus going on with one of your other nails you want to be sure that you don't transfer anything on one nail um, but it's always good to take care of your products and to make sure you're washing them um, these would be washed and also of course your steel if you are cutting your nails as well I would wash those implements um, and of course your buffing block I also give a rinse of as well so ideally what you want to do is I have natural nails I as you can see they are pretty short right now this one just broke um, so I'm having to cut it down just a little bit I battle to grow my nails and as you can see they are fairly short but I like them on the short side a lot of people like the longer length but for me for just doing stuff around the house and everything for me it's more practical to have shorter nails so I think I've spoken about um, the hardener that I've used um, that I swear by I think I've spoken about the nail strengthener that I like it's the Armada Amica I always think I'm saying it wrong um, but these two I get on Amazon and I still swear by these for me I think they brought my nails to the strength that they are now those two I use and what I will do is once a week I will go ahead and I'll remove everything off my nails polish with this first file buff clean um, get it to the desired shape and then do this two coats of this and then whatever polish color I like when I'm filing like I say I use either one of these you can use a glass file a lot of people like those and those are less damaging as far as nail polish is concerned I would go from anything from butter London dollar store which I've really liked some of the colors at the dollar store uh, this is the LA colors you can't beat that for a dollar and also wet and wild I like their one-step gel process I like this one a lot too I think this is five dollars the OPI of course is also some of my favorite colors I can't live without OPI for me OPI has the best brush so that's why I like OPI it has an amazing brush it seems to go on well with the formula um, and stay on pretty well compared to the other ones I will say Essie's got a lot better now and they have also increased the size of their brush this one which is the twisted bottle is also of course one of my favorite ones that I like they actually have a top coat that goes with this and it's 60 seconds to dry I give it two minutes but it says 60 seconds and it's almost dry and then you can move on to doing whatever you need to do I also have my sister gave me a Christian Dior of course which is a beautiful bottle and I do also have one Chanel uh, polish it's just kind of their neutral shade and of course I have bought a few of the stripers to do different things if I want to do some nail art um, and of course my favorite wow it's dry is my favorite um, and then there was also another one but now they've discontinued it also again at Sally's also 60 seconds to dry and you out the door so I'm also going to um, show you a couple of things it's what's coming up for the fall colors again and different ideas coming into fall there's going to be new designs new colors obviously going into fall you're going to look at darker colors darker shades more your burgundies your browns usually in summertime the colors that you are seeing more are the lighter shades the pinks the oranges the brights um, the blues the the kind of turquoisey blues um, into maybe navy blue around fourth of july and of course red for fourth of july as well red is pretty much popular through christmas fourth of july and of course valentine's so make sure you get yourself a good red there are going to be a couple of new designs that i'll show you in a video here after um, just to show you what's coming up for the next few months the next trends 
going into fall, the different colors and different styles and lengths that are available. So I hope you liked the video today. I know it was kind of quick and short, um, but keep watching for the trends after this and we'll see you later.